here we are back again moving along the the next wheel that goes on the front of this face is this guy right here it acts like a cannon pinion there's that wave washer the wheel a flat washer and then the e-clip this flat this wave washer is very stiff I tried to make the video showing how to press down on that and get that e-clip in there it's it was quite difficult so I had to uh, basically manhandle this thing but I couldn't get it in the shot so that slips and grips at the same time. It's like a cannon pinion. So uh, if you ever attempt one of these, you're gonna have to figure out how to do it. Okay, our next wheel is gonna be that split wheel that has uh, a spring in between the two gears that um, takes up backlash. And uh, everything is lubricated already, I used um, the heavier grease, the 8200 on the um, heavier pivots, so uh, everything's already lubricated. This I lubricated with some of that synthetic clock oil. There's the uh, minute, the minute wheel, and then the hour wheel fits on top, and then that will be held in place by this bridge. right there and we can screw that in so there's that and then we can turn the barrel a little bit and see the gear train turning how everything is functioning there and at the same time uh, this can be turned without moving the barrel and it slips through that wheel on the upper left there. Uh, our last item to go in, uh, we probably shouldn't put this in now. This is the regulator that uh, for adjusting this it had that lever, this lever at this end right there pokes through the face of the clock and you can uh, walk right up to it and regulate it as you wish. Um, but I think we're going to put the we're going to put that in last. We'll do the uh, the uh, escape assembly next. So there's pretty much the whole the whole movement put together. Um, I got to set this up so it's not flipping around and set up the camera. And I'll show you what's going on next. So. Uh, stick around, stay tuned, hopefully it's not too long-winded for you, and uh, I'll be back.